What's up guys, it's David teaching you food science in the kitchen today. So normally I would throw away my pineapple peels until I found out that you can make a fermented beverage called tapache. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make tapache along with two bonus recipes to get the most out of your pineapple. Stick around. So tapache is fermented by using the natural bacteria and yeast found on the pineapple. It tastes a little sweet, a little yeasty with a hint of pineapple. It sort of tastes like mead or beer without the bitterness it has a little bit less alcohol than beer, but a little bit more than kombucha. Because tapache uses bacterial fermentation, it also contains probiotics that promote gut health. As the bacteria ferments inside of the tapache, it becomes more acidic over time. And eventually, if it ferments too long, it can turn into vinegar, which will be a real problem. The best part about tapache is that it's really cheap. All you need for the base is pineapple peels, some sugar, and some water to make a gallon of tapache. Compared to tapache you would buy at the store, it would cost around $17 for one gallon. Now that we know the background, here's a recipe breakdown. Cut off the crown and bud of the pineapple. You can either discard or plant the crown to grow your own. I posted a guide down below in the description, but mind you, it can take up to two years if you have the patience. Discard the butt and cut the pineapple in half. Cut the pineapple into long wedges, then take out and reserve the core. The core is the fibrous center of the pineapple and runs in the opposite direction of the fruit. Cut the skin off, then cut the long wedges into pieces for the bonus recipes. In a large pot, dissolve the bionsuyo or dark brown sugar in the water. Bionsuyo is an unrefined cane sugar and is highly recommended, but dark brown sugar will do. Add the pineapple core and skins along with a cinnamon stick. Weigh down any exposed pineapple with a saucer or small bowl so that it stays submerged and no bacteria gets left behind. Family means nobody, nobody gets left behind. Oh, I forgot. Cover the pot with a towel or cheesecloth, then place the pot in a well-ventilated area away from sunlight. At this stage, the tapache is undergoing the first or aerobic fermentation, meaning that air is required for the process to continue. After 2-3 to three days, depending on the temperature of your room, check on the tapache. This is what my tapache looked like on day 2. If the tapache has any foam at the top, it is ready for the second fermentation. Once the tapache is ready, strain and discard all of the solids. If the fizziness is to your liking, place the tapache in a pitcher or bottle to refrigerate and skip the second fermentation. If more fizziness is desired, transfer the tapache to a bottle that can hermetically close, such as these flip top bottles, leaving about 5 inches of headspace. I use three flip-top bottles for this recipe, link is down below. Place the bottles away from direct sunlight for one to three days until the desired fizziness is reached. At this point, the tapache is undergoing the second or anaerobic fermentation, meaning that no air is required for the process to continue. This is why having a container with a good seal is important. The second fermentation is also when the tapache will significantly gain more fizz. If you are doing the second fermentation, make sure to degas the bottles every 12 hours to release any pressure. Once it's fizzy enough, taste test it to see if it needs more sugar or water. Optionally, add the juice of half a lime for an extra kick. For my tapache, its second fermentation lasted 36 hours before it got fizzy enough. Keep the tapache stored in the fridge to hold the fermentation and serve cold. So I promised you guys two bonus recipes, the first being a tapache margarita on the rocks and the second being grilled pineapple. For the tapache margarita, I won't be using orange liqueur or sour mix because I want the tapache to shine through, but you can add them if you want to. To make the tapache margarita, combine kosher salt and chili powder on a plate. Rim a glass with a lime wedge, then with the seasoning by inverting and twisting the glass. Add in your ice, tapache, and silver tequila. Mix in agave or pineapple juice for sweetness and enjoy! Rum will also be good if you don't have tequila. Finally, we have the grilled pineapple. Mix olive oil, chili powder, brown sugar, a pinch of salt, and that leftover lime half from the tapache. Combine the mixture with the pineapples, then grill or boil the pineapples for 3 minutes or until lightly brown. Honestly, no cap, these grilled pineapples were so good. They taste like candy, and me and my roommates finished them in just 2 days, and you will too. That's all for the video guys, I hope you learned something new. If you want to see the full recipe, check out my blog down in the description box below and let me know how you enjoy these recipes as well. See you soon and peace.